Hi guys, it's Holly and welcome to Ask a Tattoo Artist. So my intention with these videos is to make it easier next time you book in for a tattoo. These are pieces of terminology that I hear floating around which are often misused or misunderstood. So by making these videos, I hope to bring a greater understanding to exactly what these things mean from a tattoo artist perspective. And this is part of a series of videos where I talk about tattoo terminology. So this time I'm going to be talking about the difference between a freehand tattoo and a stencil tattoo. If you guys aren't familiar with my work already, my name is Holly Astral and I'm a tattoo artist from just outside of London in England in a county called Bedfordshire where I have my own tattoo shop called Gravity. We also have a YouTube channel so I'm going to link it down below so you can go and have a look. So let's start with freehand. What exactly does freehand mean? So freehand tattoo technique refers to have you seen one of these drawings on Instagram or YouTube or whatever where the person appears to have been doodled all over with a sharpie that's exactly what a freehand tattoo is so instead of sitting down and preparing a drawing turning that into a stencil applying the stencil to the skin and then starting tattooing you would start by drawing straight onto the person with a sharpie and then start tattooing from there. So personally, this is a way that I really enjoy working, mostly because it means you can make a tattoo that exactly fits that person's body part and suits their shape and flows really nicely on the body. As we all know, tattooing is a weird mix between 2D and 3D because although you are, when you're drawing, you're drawing something two-dimensional, you then have to apply it to the 3D shape of the body. So I find that drawing things straight on freehand helps the flow of everything, it makes everything sit really nicely. So you may notice in some of these videos that I'm overlaying that I'm using different colors of pens when I'm doing my freehanding and that is because I will start with a light colored pen just to sketch everything on, get everything exactly where I want it and in the right position. So once I've got all my rough lines in, I can then go over it with a darker pen and get everything refined and make it more so the customer can see exactly what I'm about to do because I tend to draw quite messily, um, both on a person and on a piece of paper. And I am aware that that can look quite scary to a person if they're not already familiar with my work and exactly what it's going to look like at the end. So I like to neaten up all my drawings so that you can get a better idea of what the tattoo is going to look like at the end of it. So how is freehanding a tattoo different to doing a stencil tattoo? So again, on Instagram or YouTube, you've probably seen pictures and videos of people with um, purple designs or peeling paper off a person and it's leaving a design behind. That is a tattoo stencil. The way that stencils are made is you draw a picture on a piece of paper, you then trace over that or run it through a photocopier or something and then you can then turn that into a stencil. So what the stencil is, is made of carbon paper like you used to get in checkbooks. If anyone's old as, as old as me and you can remember what a checkbook is and that's what makes the purple marks on the skin. So similarities and differences between freehanding and stenciling are when you freehand a tattoo, you know that it is going to fit on the person exactly because you're freehanding it straight on. Sometimes when you stencil a design, there can be a little bit of messing about to make sure that everything fits perfectly. This is more the case on bigger pieces or if you're trying to fit around other existing tattoos on the person and you want everything to fit in nicely. Another difference between freehanding and stenciling on tattoos is the amount of time that it takes. So when your artist is freehanding a tattoo straight onto you, you're sitting there for the entire drawing process and being part of it. Whereas if you've had a tattoo stenciled on, the tattoo artist will have done that as preparatory work. So instead of spending an hour drawing a tattoo straight onto the skin, they've spent an hour drawing it on a piece of paper and then making it into a stencil and everything. But ultimately, whether you freehand a tattoo or stencil a tattoo, they're both methods of getting a design onto the skin ready to be gone over with a tattoo machine. So the end result is the same. So I hope this video has brought some clarity to the differences between freehanding and stenciling on a tattoo. Um, as always, if you want to ask me a question that you would like me to answer in one of these videos, you can leave me a comment or you can send me an email. If you want to see more of my tattoo work, you can find me on Instagram. My name there is at holly underscore astral, or you can email me holly at gravitytattooshop.com. And I hope this video will help you when you're booking in your next tattoo. Thank you for watching. Bye.